Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do a hair tutorial today on two ways you can do Dutch braids. Braids seem to be quite fashionable at the moment, although I've always liked braids. So I've never really been able to do them on myself, so I've always had to get my younger sister to do them, who is amazing at braids. But in the last six months or so, I feel like I've gotten the technique down enough to feel confident to do it on myself. But I've discovered two ways that you can do them. This way I find a lot easier. I think it's perfect for beginners and it creates a bit more of a sort of girly effect. It's more at the front so you can actually see the braid when you're looking at someone without having to turn around. The hair sits in the front whereas if you put it behind you it wants to come to the front of your head. Whereas on this side I've done your typical Dutch braid which people tend to have at the back of their head. I, I like these when I feel like I've gotten the kind of right outfit on, but normally on a day-to-day -day basis, I'll wear it this way. So I decided to show you both techniques. This way also I find doesn't hurt your arms as much, whereas this one, if you're doing, if you have really long or really thick hair, it will ache your arms. If you don't know what Dutch braids are, they're basically a braid that sits on top of your head so you can actually grab it with your hands whereas you've got your French braid which is in your hair so you can't touch it. You can go like this and feel the pattern but you can't grab it with your hands like I can with these ones. It's basically rather than passing the hair over the middle section you're passing the hair under the middle section. That's the only difference. If you remember that you'll get the technique down. There's two things that I always remember when I'm doing this braid. Number one the smaller the sections that you work with, the smaller the braid will be and the tighter it will be. Number two, the, the smaller the sections you grab from each side will determine how low or how high your braid is. So on this side, it's pretty much 50-50. Whereas on this side, I'm grabbing much smaller sections from down here than I am from up here. So if you want to find out how you can achieve these braids, and please keep watching. Okay, so I've already brushed through my hair with a tangle teaser. I like my hair more to the side rather than in a centre parting, but if you wanted to have yours in a centre parting, then you can do that. I'm gonna take a small comb, and I'm gonna section my hair from the end of my parting down to the back of my head. I'm just gonna pull this section to one side. I'm going to secure it quite tight with a bobble or hair tie. If you pull it nice and tight it makes it easier not to grab sections from this side. So the first thing you need to do is grab a triangular section as you can see it goes straight across from the front of your head near your parting like this. If you have all your hair in front of your shoulder I find this a lot easier to do and hold your arm hold your hair quite high up and then you can see exactly where you're going obviously it's going to be more going like this so the first thing you need to do is you need to split this part into three sections. So you just grab two fingers and just pop them through. And you'll end up with three sections just like this. So you do need to hold them quite close to your scalp. It just makes it a lot easier to work with and it makes it a lot easier to keep your braid tight. So what you need to do is you need to cross the bottom section under the middle one so that becomes your new middle section and then you need to cross the top section under the middle one so that becomes your new middle section so you've completed one loop of the braid and then you need to repeat it again but with this time adding the hair in so there's two ways you could do this you could drop your front section like that and just pick up hair and you'll automatically pick up your original bit of hair anyway or what I actually do is I cross it under the middle so it's my new middle section again and I take a piece of hair and add that to the middle 
so you've got quite a big piece in the centre. So you need to cross the top section under your middle one and add hair to your new middle. Cross the bottom section under the middle and again add hair. As your sections become thicker it tends to be a lot easier to work with. Then you cross your top section under the middle, grab it, always remember what fingers you've got it between and then you just take a piece of hair or take a section of hair and add it to the middle. So again you need to cross your bottom section under the middle, take a piece of hair from the front, add it to your middle, cross your top section under the middle, grab that, take pieces from the back add it to the centre and you need to keep repeating until you can't grab any more hair. And then once you can't add any more hair, just braid it all the way down to the bottom. you've braided it down to the bottom take a hair elastic and just add that to secure it in place so as you can see with this technique you don't have to have your hands above your head which can really ache your arms normally people do their braids like this and it especially if you've got longer hair it takes a lot longer to do and if you've got thicker hair it will take even longer so I just find it easier to do it like this and then at least it gives one of my arms a break. The other one still has to be quite, you know, you have to hold it up. But one of your hands you can just sort of, you could even put your elbow on a table and just do it like that. But because you've done it this way, your arms don't go so, so far back. So you naturally only grab smaller sections from this part, which makes the braid come closer to the front of your head. Which I actually prefer because then when you're facing someone, they can see the braid. Whereas normally, you can't see anything because it's more to the back. And there is a hairstyle that I normally do when I have my braids like this. If you want to see that, just give this video a thumbs up and I'll do a tutorial for that. So this is going to be the side where we do the sort of more common technique. So I'm just going to brush it through with my tangle teaser. Okay, so you need to put all your hair behind your shoulder. Take a section, again if you're a beginner, take a fairly big section. And you wanna split that into three sections. Cross the section closest to your ear under the middle. Cross the section closest to your parting under the middle, again cross the section closest to your ear, under the middle. My middle section is always between my index finger and my ring finger, so I always know where I'm adding the hair in, I always know to add it between them two fingers. So take some hair, add it to your middle, cross the one, the section that's closest to your part in, under the middle, and add in some hair, cross the bottom section, under the middle, add in some more hair. The other reason I like doing this technique more is obviously you, you can't, even if, when you do look in the mirror, it's quite difficult to see what you're doing. Whereas when you're like this, you can generally see everything that you're doing. So I'm just going to add more hair from this side. You need to make sure that you pull it tight. Your hands always need to be quite close to your scalp when you're doing this. Add some more hair, cross under, add some more hair. I very often do my daughter's hair in Dutch braids, especially for school, because it keeps the hair out of her face and it tends to not fall out and not get loose if she's running around playing. 
she doesn't tend to get any sort of paint or anything in there so if you want me to do a video on how I do her hair then be sure to let me know and I can do that so you need to keep going until you can't add any more so once you've added all the hair in which I have just do a normal braid as far as you can And the one thing that people normally say that they don't like about these is they can't go all the way down, especially if they've got long hair. If you bring the braid to the front and grab your sections with your opposite hand, you can look. And obviously because you've, you've now brought it to the front, rather than crossing the sections under the middle section, you need to go over the middle section so that it keeps it in the same pattern. So as you can see, this one is sort of more on its own, whereas these two have been crossed. So you need to take this one that's on its own, cross it over the middle, and then obviously now you've got this one that's on its own, cross it over the middle and keep going, and it will fit the same pattern that you've got. So again, you just want to secure that with an elastic. So once you've finished your braids, you can have a look at them, see if there's any bits that you want to perfect a bit. The only thing I normally do is if you look on this side, you can kind of see through there. So what I normally do is I'll just pull it up. I'll grab it so I can see that I've got it. And I'll put it up to my bottom of my scalp. Take a pin. If you've got the smaller, the shorter ones, they're a lot better than the longer ones for this hairstyle. And I'll put it into the braid so you can't see it. And as you can see, that hides that. Also, if you've got any bits sticking out, you can hide them as well. You just need to put the pin so it goes into the braid. Sometimes I like to actually pull at these bits just to give a bit of volume and then this is what I mean by with this side I have to get a mirror behind me so that I can see what it actually looks like but I can feel and see that this bit here is sticking. so I'm going to take a pin and I'm just going to grab it and because I can't see you have to sort of guess where you want it to go but that's hidden it enough for me and again, if you have any of these bits sticking out here, if you just grab them, push them up. I normally, if it's on a braid like this, I normally push it up under the braid. Take a pin and just put it up. So it goes up in the braid and it will hide them a bit more. Like so, so, so you can see the difference that it makes. If I have this going behind me, that's normally how people wear them. Whereas, obviously, if you have that behind you, you can see it. So normally if I wear these kind of braids, I'll have it in front. But I personally prefer this side. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.